Hello everybody, welcome back to my educational block English English Literature. I am Ardhan Dude. Today, we are going to analyze O. Henry's popular short story, The Gift of the Magi. But before we start, we will carry out a discussion on the characteristic features of short story first. As you all know, a short story, in fact, to be a perfect short story, neatness, brevity and a significant incident or an aspect of character or an experience of some psychological moment is essential. Just note this minutely that there is nothing extravagant that is essential for short story. Short story span is very limited. In the framework of short, you know, uh, you must have a beginning, middle, and an end. There must be a completeness in its structure. All the elements, plot, character, dialogue, description, background, must be organically connected with each other and it should be such a adhesive quality that, that the short story is never crumbled. A good short story in fact has a surprising end which bears a sense of endlessness and that is the continuity of short story. O. Henry's The Gift of the Magi is such a case. Uh, the story contains Potter's characteristic ironical twist at the end that is surprising and at the same time striking to us Jim and Della, the bold sacrifice of theirs for the sake of love come unexpectedly to the readers but nonetheless convincing and admirable. The love affairs or the love or the sacrifice for the sake of love by Jim and Della is quite admirable and that striking feature comes in O. Henry's story. So William Sidney Potter, nicknamed as O. Henry, his short story The Gift of the Magi is itself a best example of short story of its kind in modern times. Celebrated American short story writer William Sidney Potter's The Gift of the Magi is a perfect example of beauty. It was published originally in 1906 in a collection of his short stories, The Four Million, it named. Like uh, The Furnished Room and The Ransom of Red Chief, The Gift of the Magi is also bears simple yet effective use of paradoxical coincidences to produce a kind of um, uh, ironic ending. The present story that we are talking about, The Gift of the Magi, contains many of the elements of which O. Henry is widely known. He has the four working class characters here, a humorous tone underneath the whole of the story, a realistic details, a surprising ending and that the last feature is very um, enticing here. A major reason given for this enduring appeal in this story is its affirmation of unselfish love. Such love, the story and its title suggest, is like the gift given by the wise man called Magi, who brought gold, frankincense and needed to the newborn Jesus as you will find in biblical story. Uh, written between 1905 and 1906, the story is close enough to everybody's heart. It is of universal significance of love and passion. The action takes place in the New York City in a very unassuming flat, a drab, grey, decaying flat, it says. And the occasion is the Christmas Eve. Now, why are they called Magi? So, why are they called Magi? So, this simple answer is hidden within the story. The G Mandela, their humble about their humble living brings out their poverty vividly. Their selfless sacrifice of valuable possessions uh, itself spiritualizes their love and make them wise enough to call Magi. As the Magi understood the true value of love, universal love, by the birth of Jesus Christ, so they are called wise. 
Similarly, they understood, Jimmy and Della understood the true value of life, true value of love, and that's why they are Magi. The story has been told in the third person point of view, that is omniscient point of view. Thus, uh, the story is told in the perspective of Della and much of the feelings of Jim are bogged to us. The third person limited omniscient paints much of the floating desires of Della and whenever Jim is obscene, he can be located in the story, uh, in the line, in the storyline through the words of Della. We cannot miss uh, one point that Jim and Della are presented in the story as an entity of love. In fact, Jim and Della is in unison here, rather uh, they are presented as a unified whole, a complete sphere that like that of time. In the story, the entity of love and union of two minds that I am talking about is the emblem of Jim and Della. If we look into the title of this story, we find that it is from Bible. Symbolism, imagery, allegory, the importance and influence of the Bible in Ohindi's writing may be explained broadly in both textual and philosophical terms. So symbolism, imagery and allegory are being part of his writing. The textual explanation is the author's broad exploration of the meaning of the text to ascertain the power of tradition, custom, and the creed guided by the Bible. The philosophical explanation is what many authors continue to experience as the power of Christ and his divine words. Here, the title words of Many of Ohindi's short story, in fact, also follow the same biblical orientation. A kind of his stories might be read as a little parable. In reference to the present title, The Gift of the Magi, the Magi that I have already explained that uh, it is a biblical association. The Magi and their gifts are directly related to the biblical story, as you all know where the trio of kings or noble pilgrims who followed a guided star to Israel to pay homage to the newborn Christ. According to the story, the Magi were wise folks. The gifts the Magi gave to Jesus must have been wise too. These gifts must have been the best gifts anyone could have chosen. And according to the narrator, that makes the two characters in this story, Jim and Tela, uh, just like the Magi. They gave each other the wisest gift of all by means of sacrifice. The sacrifice is here greatest because they possess their most valuable treasured gift and sacrificed for the sake of love. And that is no less gift than that of Magi. Added to in this connection with Jim and Tela's prize possession, there are to other biblical allusions. Dela's hair is uh, said to be so gorgeous and pretty that it should uh, minimize the glory of the Queen of Seba, as we find in the story. Uh, Jim's golden watch would have been the envy of King Solomon. The story has a great theme of love. Love, according to Potter's teaching, does not depend on worthiness or merit, but is a gift of one sovereign grace earned through selfless devotion. The gift of the Magi compiles this. It is a story of a poor young couple whose love for each other is the most important thing in their lives. Such is their love that they have led to sacrifice their most valuable positions to find Christmas gift for each other, the warm home they make together, contrast with the drabness of their poverty and the dreary world outside. This story is about love and about what people do for the ones that they love 
and the story of love or the sacrifice for the sake of love is the world needed most. Marriage is commonly defined as a partnership between two members of opposite sex known as husband and wife. However, it is more than living together. It is bond of love, shared economics and shared emotions. The couple in the story highlights these points also. So, um, the marriage is like that of a union ship and most of the worlds or the American society is seeing so many broken families so this particular story or theme is quite attractive one in christianity the death of christ on the cross is considered an exemplary and perfect sacrifice offered to expiate the sins of humanity Christ's sacrifice by crucifixion is a sign of his love for the humanity here too in this story, sacrifice of lovers' valuable position on Christmas Eve is close to a ritual act in which a consecrated offering is made to their respective partner in order to establish, perpetuate or restore a sacred bond between man and woman. A person's holdings of currency, bank balances, and other financial instruments constitute personal wealth, but the real worth is the respect for humanity and the shared emotions. Economists estimate wealth by measuring the actual physical positions of assets or the stock of assets, but lovers' uh, real assets are devotions, dedications, and mutual respect. The gift of the Magi um, teaches us all these things. Our hero and heroine are very poor in financial condition. But what made them superior uh, than others are the qualities that they possessed. And the qualities that they possessed are not materialistic valuations of their positions, but the supreme valuations of their emotions. The main character of the gift of the Magi, Della, is not good looking pretty wife but also a helpless woman economically. The poor couple cannot earn sufficient money to gift each other on Christmas Eve. Della looks more pathetic as she is determined to sell her own locks for some dollars. In this perspective, it can be said that in the story, the struggle of Della is also a minute study of middle class women folk of the early 20th century, socially and economically. Again, another character that strikes me, uh, particularly Madame Saffron. Uh, Madame Saffron, the owner of hair shops, is in sharp contrast to uh, the couple Jim and Della. Uh, physically, she is being described that she is large, white, chilly, and her only concern is the hair of Della. And how does it profit? She is in fact a representative of the materialistic world. Uh, even though the competition can be hard earned, but it looks so. And primarily orb to the emotional world of the story. However, she is also a bold statement of womanhood and economic sufficiency or economic strength. Uh, it is also ironic uh, that Della sells her hair. The tug of war or the economic imbalance in the character of Della and that of Madame Saffroni is an interesting field of study as this kind of story drags us on. The ending of Wendy's story is always interesting and he is known for his twist ending or magic ending. Naturally, the gift of the Magi also ends with an ironic situation as Della sells her hair 
and gym his watch the gifts are of no use as the comb or platinum chain has already lost their partners so uh, this is a ironic situation when each uh, each other, each other and smiled and in reference it can be told life is a tale which is to be continued in its full mirth and the gift of the major is not the end of the story of jim and della rather it is a continuity of that same feelings of love and uh, humanity and here is the success of their partnership or their uh, marriage so i think you have come through this story line in a different way i have taught you a many of the features that are quite missing while reading the story line i have not shared you the story rather mentioned a few of the valid points that you should follow while reading this text so like share and comment and obviously subscribe to my channel and pop up any of the queries so that i can give you any kind of explanations that probably you are needed bye bye